Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be shading my character. So right here we got May J over here looking, looking cool, looking cool. We got Meek over here with that random doggo. Ignore the yacht. <laughs> Ignore it, please. Honestly, I'm probably gonna end up shading both, but I think I'm gonna go with May J for now. I drew this like I don't know when I drew this. I drew this like a month ago, and yeah, you also probably saw these drawings over here. Um, this was from the other video I made, and then this is me yuna and i just shaded this um before i went to bed last night i'll show you the colored version this is the colored version it's looking sick it's looking nice and yeah i just been like trying out this new art style um artist trying out like new art styles i should say because um i'm in love with this like dude rico rkgk i think he like makes some like sick art pieces this is his like has some nice color here and then also um this is his this itadori is his also um another one of my favorite artists is cosmo literally um they have been <laughs> my favorite artist since like the beginning of time it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy how uh you know my tastes have always shifted i've always changed but they have always stayed in my uh my most favorites area and yeah so right now i'm just gonna shade this damn bro <laughs> may is looking kind of thick today damn <laughs> all right um let's get her color palette actually let's fix up our hair because i was i think i was i don't know when i drew this i think it was like at night because her hair is kind of like i don't think i did her hair right yeah there we go i always get her hair wrong like i always like i drew a whole manga about a month ago and when i looked back at it i was like yo for 30 pages <laughs> i drew her hair incorrectly like right here it looks really good and right here I, and for this one though i feel like it's it's not as good so let me see how i did it so what i did is i went one swoop we go like this and then down and then we make a little chunk okay see like when i was designing it i was actually thinking bro that's that's some god tier designing right there i didn't know i thought all of that bro i designed her so long ago like a month and a half ago maybe even no maybe or oh, two months ago bro i swear time just flies by so quickly man it feels like just yesterday i designed her i know it was a long time ago but it feels literally just like yesterday and then we have this little part let's see if it actually looks good though uh kind of it's kind of a weird hairstyle to get right i remember when i was drawing the manga i was super frustrated with it at start at the start but then it and then it started to get easier of course though i was drawing wrongly so who knows how easy it actually is um let me actually just screenshot this and move it over because it's kind of complicated by the way a lot of you guys like uh are a decent amount of people ask what app this is on the side here this is um pure refs i believe it's ten dollars um and yeah it is definitely super worth it super super worth it okay and then we have it like okay so it's actually skinnier than i thought this is why it's better to have it side by side okay i think it's the right shape now bigger also i think for this um piece i'm just gonna have maybe you know some water here and let me make let me make it more gestury something like okay what the freak am i even doing something like this you know so this is gonna be water it's gonna be like splashing i think you can already see like the picture sort of maybe there's something in the background over here in the drawing sideways or you know the the camera sideways if you know what i mean okay i think the last thing is we need to push this underneath see it is it is it's slightly challenging to draw this you'd think it's easy but it's very hard to make it look not weird all right i think that's good let me see what it was um this is what it was yeah this is i mean kind of worse what it was was kind of worse um <laughs> it really is a struggle to draw this little piece <laughs> okay um it's <sighs> may day so cool may day so cool all right i think it's looking good now i think i fixed it up a bit let's go back and look at what it was yeah look at this look at this it looks kind of like um weird for lack of better words and then this one looks a lot more solid or whatever i think the very last thing is this needs to be bigger okay i'm done i'm leaving it you guys don't know how long i spent on this i, I spent a good three minutes on this i don't know how long it was for you guys but all right let's get our color palette so i'm gonna try to shade it and have it be something like uh something like this maybe well you guys probably don't really know what i mean um 
They're just gonna be cool. <laughs> when I say like this is gonna be cool, that that's what I mean. And there's gonna be water or something. Oh, they're the hands. Um, <laughs> nah, bro, we're not drawing hands. I didn't sign up to do the hands too, man. I already fixed the hair. I already fixed the hair. No sir, sir. By the way, um, my goal here is to draw like ten fully shaded pieces like this, and I'm gonna put them all at the end of a video. Uh, I'm, I'm making and it's going to be called character design enter the madness or something like that I don't know or the madness of character design I don't know exactly what's going to be called but yep yep and so the reason why I want 10 pieces 10 finished art pieces for the video is because I just want to end the video with the bang oh you know I've also been thinking of another video idea and it's going to be like trying to grow on Twitter or on art Twitter um i'm not sure see the thing is i'm not sure how many people would be interested in it so i might actually have the video be more about like so let me just explain the idea first of all i'm gonna try to just grow my twitter and just have my twitter blow up and so the thing is um i say i think i've already said this multiple times before but i'll say it again on youtube like if you make a great video it will blow up if it's a good video it will get seen but for twitter just and then instagram any other social media except for tiktok tiktok's kind of like youtube as well where you get rewarded for quality but for twitter and instagram it, it, there is just like a huge grind that you have to do before you can even you know start getting any traction and i just want to see how long it would take for me to start you know just popping off on twitter um and yeah i'm just gonna like set a goal can i get to you know a hundred k a hundred k views or not not views 100k likes no no 100k likes is so many what am i talking about 10k likes and something like that because you know for youtube again you know if i post a good video on a completely new channel and maybe even have like someone else voice over it like i feel like i i've been doing so youtube for long enough where i know how well a video is gonna do beforehand but for twitter there is just absolutely no guarantee so i think it'd be just an interesting little video and so my plan though that that's also the thing i wanted to talk about so the plan is just to post like jujutsu kaisen and chainsaw man little comics and we're just gonna have you know we're gonna have denji and power or no no bar and power living in the same house and stuff and just like i'm just gonna create funny memes and stuff she's gonna be like power why'd you <laughs> why'd you put my clothes in the toilet it's not a washer or something something really stupid just nice funny post and hopefully um the twitter will grow yeah and yeah i just really think twitter is just a really cool platform to have um a lot of followers are just a fan base because it's very um you know once you once you get past that threshold where you're actually in the algorithm for twitter any post you make if it's really if it's really quality it will normally blow up that's only once you get into like the algorithm so but yeah i can't wait to do like the skits after i create this video i'm working on right now i'm gonna straight on move to either that or i'm gonna go back to my like bucket list of things i want to improve on but yeah for the skits man i'm just gonna have like i'm just gonna do like so many <laughs> you can really do so many stupid things when you combine chainsaw man with uh jujutsu kaisen like you can have like let's say um let's say nobara is in love with <laughs> denji or something stupid and um what if you know nobara accidentally puts on power shirt or power uses no bar shirt and doesn't wash it and then no bar is like damn why my shirt stink <laughs> and then dandy's like damn she stinks you know you can do like so many you can do so many funny things you know um what else <laughs> <laughs> you could just have um what's her name um mimi and then also humino just saying like <laughs> instead of saying not nah, i'd win like the jujutsu kaisen meme let me let me pull out just in case no anyone knows what i'm all right let's see jujutsu kaisen nah i'd win but instead of, 
but instead of Nide win, it could say Nah, <laughs> Nide groom. <laughs> I don't know if everyone gets that. <laughs> like from this scene, we could just have her and then Herminio, and that that's just like that's um that's a banger meme right there, bro. <laughs> And so the goal, the goal is, you know, just oppose a whole bunch of Juju Kaisen memes and maybe have them all linked together as just like this one nice story where you can just go on Twitter. And when you go on my page, right after you see one post, you might be like, Hey, yo, let me go check out his page. And then you just realize like, wait a second, this whole thing's a story, like, uh, like some weird chopped up story. And I feel like that would be really cool. And I'd feel like the accounts, my accounts would just like pop off after doing that. And so, um, also I'm just gonna put like the most current, um, Jujutsu Kaisen tags, like, uh, whatever new chapter is out. I'm just gonna put that chapter in the thing. That's also a good idea. But yeah, I just been, I just been plotting bro. Cause I feel like having a good Twitter, a big Twitter is really useful. Also, I just think this idea is like super fun. I'm just gonna be drawing a whole bunch of memes and be like, hey, yo, give me some likes or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And then maybe we can have like my hero characters. <laughs> just this, <laughs> it could just be like the whole anime universe, the whole multiverse. We can have, um, <laughs> we can have power bullying Deku. <laughs> <laughs> like that that would actually happen a hundred percent all right what type of background i want to do let's see let's look here for a bit more inspiration mm. yeah look at this cool ass digimon damn bro would take your girl no sweat hmm what should i do i have no idea i'm trying to look for a color palette i should have said i i do have the idea of water still <laughs> All right, freak it, dude. Let's just draw the background. Some, um, we're just gonna use this as a basis. Um, I think the number one thing though that I like, or I think there's a few things like that makes this piece so sick. So like, there's the lineless part over here, and then there's lines over here, and then I I really like how there's foreshortening. I'm just like kind of like thinking about what what makes this piece so cool. So we got lots of like movement. That's what I like as well. So this movement. There is some white and then there's black lines here and then there's foreshortening. Um, this piece doesn't have any foreshortening right now, but we can copy the, we can copy everything else. I think the, the coolest thing is like just the energy and then the lineless adds to the energy as well. It just really feels like it's moving. Oh, also another thing is it's very, what's the word? Very contrasty like you can see there's there's this image right here is very dark like it has a lot of dark but then the white is just super bright and it doesn't come across as a dark image because there's so much white here but basically what i'm trying to say is there's a good balance a good contrast amount so i'm gonna try to do that here too um i think so are we gonna make her be the brightest or are we gonna make her be in the dark hmm I feel like having like a beach at night would be really cool and then have a light shining on her face. Do I want to draw a beach though? Now that is a no. <laughs> That's a no, but I don't know, man. If, if this little sketch thing looks cool, I might be drawing a beach. Just maybe. Let's actually get a reference. A beach at night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a good image. Let's put this like this and then drop it into our reference area. Okay, so I feel like let's actually just color pick this because it's just so much easier. Let's see how dark this is. Oh, did I choose the right color already? Sorta. It needs to be a bit darker to match. Let's see how close it is. So I color pick this and then we go over here. And yeah, that's that's about the same. It didn't move much. Let's see the water though. The water is gonna be like much darker, maybe. Oh yeah, like well, let's go over here. Let's sit in the freaking area over here. Yeah, it's it's pretty dark. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it's good. Oh, wait. 
my my plan was to have it splash like this though uh we could have the wave like flashing her like this oh she's inside of a wave maybe okay there we go Ooh, nice and then maybe there can be like i don't know starfish or something here all right time to go crazy let's just see how this looks okay 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 this is not looking too bad looks like freaking fish would it be better if it was this direction nah <laughs> nice dude i always love when like the texture brushes are actually useful sometimes the brushes be just not useful at all and now i think or it i think it's already ready totally for me to go crazy like actually let, wait let me see if i can use the bubbles uh, nah 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 forget the bubbles Okay, so now I'm just gonna have some like medium pieces. I already added in some, um, what do you call it? Uh, some splatter. It looks really nice. Um, let's put some like blue lines inside the white. Maybe not. Yeah, not maybe not. Um, let's see what else. I'm surprised with how quick I came up with this. <laughs> it kind of feels like a fluke, bro. I start adding in, um, different colors already and so i think maybe some black would be nice because that's normally what uh rico does rico so like some black along the white is that better uh i don't think the black fits this piece let's see if we can up the contrast before i um move on i forgot how to up the contrast though it's like somewhere here is that under view or under select oh there it is so right now i'm just gonna like up the contrast like crazy that already looks better i think let me see what was it yeah that i feel like that already looks well let's, let's play around with it more let's play around with it so right now i'm just messing with the brightness like darkening it messing with the contrast as well honestly man i might have just had it right on the first try i feel like well this is what it was at first and then i think this also looks pretty good as well it's a little bit too saturated however i think that's just because the sand is too saturated too saturated for my liking let's merge this so i don't have so many freaking layers okay this is good this is a good um sand color let me make sure i have the outline correct though it was more like it was more like curvy something like this hmm what's the next move let's take a look at this all right so i just darkened may J so i can brighten her up i gotta make sure to get her teeth though as well well wait i just darkened her but i should probably also make her a bit bluer just a bit Eh, let's let's see how much all right that's a good amount of blue and then we're just gonna make the light like we're just gonna make it super bright because you can never have it be too bright <laughs> yeah i think that's yeah i think for now on i'm just gonna use like the maxed out brightness just make it be white for now on just hard white hard black Ooh, do we want to add some white on the hands though i don't want them look i don't want them looking at my hands hmm <laughs> Yeah, let's let's not light up the hands, bro. <laughs> Cause it's not gonna look too good. Line up the ear. Just outlining a lot of stuff. Oh, this is actually drawn in white. The little lines here, while this was drawn in red, I should probably fix that. Okay, so far, um, not bad. I don't think. See, like already though, the contrast it does so much like look at that this is white light and then her getting sh shined on just a little bit looks good already and then once i add more though it's gonna look even better um yeah never never underestimate you know contrast it's actually probably the most important thing contrast and then just making sure your color art co contrast and then also a really good color palette can do can do so much like something let me find something simple with just a good color palette um this right here like it just it just looks cool it instantly looks cool um what else this like yeah it's just it's just pretty freaking cool if you choose a good color palette you can do a lot with something simple and so when you do con um when you have light like this normally what i like to do is um so you have like the light over here that's getting lit up and then also you want to have like this you want to have um yeah well you want to have like lots of little spots that are being shaded like spots you wouldn't expect to be shaded um i don't think for skin i can really explain it 
that well, but I think you kind of know what I mean. You just want to look for not only light on the edge, but you also want to get some weird little planes that you wouldn't expect or didn't even know existed or you wouldn't expect to exist. For example, I'm not sure if this actually happens, but let's just say it happens, right? You know, let's say the clavicle gets lit up right here. Let's see how that looks. Maybe it'll look good. Maybe it won't. Let's see. Um, yeah, I can actually see it ending up good. It's a little weird to me, but maybe it'll be fine. So I think it looks a little weird because it needs to be kind of like not something's a little weird, but let's see. All right. Now I don't think it looks weird. I connected it and then I think the breast looks weird. Not the right shape. It was kind of angular. You want it to be more roundish and actually it would just be dark here, honestly oh no whenever you make it no well that, let me zoom out mm. <laughs> when you do that it like changes like the shape of the breast it makes it look like it's like i don't even know <laughs> oh what if like there's a lot of you know whatever on her eyes like nice like uh ambience or whatever probably let's probably use pink let me see if that's too much nope that's perfectly fine looking good and then maybe some pink here that might be too much though <laughs> yeah it kind of looks a little weird i mean it could work though maybe if we made it so it has to be like some sort of pink grayish color it can't be super bright yeah like now it's there but it's not really there yeah i think that can stay i think i want to blend it though because it needs some blending it's a little bit too noticeable damn her eyeballs are popping bro looking cool let's light up her face so i'm here some on the lips i believe it hits here i don't know yeah that looks fine wait actually i just realized i probably didn't show you guys how it looks this is how it looks um with a little bit of white light on the bottom eyelids right here and i think it looks fine with some white light there i might actually try to add some here just because why not yeah it looks fine now i think i'm gonna add some shadow i can add some more light later all right let's make this bounce light pink oh damn it's probably gonna be coming from the left though isn't it um let's see how we're gonna do this try something let's actually remove the lines here i think it'd be a good idea if i added some pink to her hair like the the bounce light let's up the bright the bounce light though yeah this is turning out a lot nicer <laughs> then uh, i mean honestly i didn't even have any expectations but it's turning out pretty good so maybe like i don't i think some white hair strands can be here some some super light hair strands uh nah that that kind of like moves your eyes over here when i want it to be right here also let's like i'm pretty sure there's like a muzzle here there's um wherever the freak it's called the the traps and then maybe a light would hit here I don't know, but I I want there to be something here. Maybe let's. Mm, the trap one looks good, but this one looks slightly strange. Yeah, it looks strange, but this right here definitely belongs for sure. Oh, I didn't do her pants at all. All right, so I just did something cool, some cool, some um just maxed out saturated um. I maxed out saturated the lines and like some of the hair, the line art right here. And I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll do that for this too, like over here. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, actually. I mean, wait, actually, it could be pink. Mm, that's kind of weird. I think just outside can be pink. Nah, kind of like leads your eyes somewhere else. All right, let's see. What else does this drawing need? Because I think there is something missing. And it's in this area. It could be that it's just unfinished baby what if i just made it super dark in the background like over in this area and specifically or wait maybe some pink something oh hmm there could be like something down here like uh like some sort of uh i don't know some some eyeball i don't know just fit in dots pitch black no this this area is just way too um un unpopulated i guess you can say i think the drawing may need to be actually smaller no now it kind of feels a little bit congested or does it or does it mm. you know i know composition like i know how like you know the rule of thirds and whatever however i'm not exactly sure what the rules are for like framing like should there be a little bit of gap here or nah normally i think nah there shouldn't be a gap here like this gap in this area and then even maybe the top however i do feel like 
what I just did. I just made it smaller. I think for this piece in particular, it'd be better if the canvas was bigger because we kind of like lose sight of the environment. If we make it smaller, the environment feels smaller and it's more on her where I want it to be like her and the environment rather than, than just like this closed in type of feeling. So I think actually maybe just this part made, needs to be removed. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it as this. Um, the canvas size that is and we're just gonna put some stuff here to fill it up or fill up the ground okay let's fill up the ground with some starfish or something something at all some shadow at least let's start with that that would be super easy to add oh something i just figured out is or figured out recently is like if you add some hatch marks you know stuff like this it really does give a lot of motion even if the drawing is in color it gives just a lot of uh something energy like gives a lot of energy right here rather than just you know blocking it in like it kind of looks of course i did it sloppily here but you know as you can see it, it does look kind of just boring in this area whereas hatching it makes it have some speed as well to as well as shading they're shading in and some movement thing okay so we can add some splatter i think that works i wonder if i have like a sand brush man concrete close enough i guess i mean hey there is some texture to the sand now let's draw some fish some nemo there we go i just accidentally put put like this over here and this kind of gave me idea though hold up let me see wait a second i don't know what i'm doing but i kind of like it whatever i'm doing um maybe some glowing nemo or something <laughs> bro I'm, I'm so bad at drawing animals let me actually just look at a fish um wait let, let me look at a real clownfish <laughs> dude clownfish looks so cool he may be called clownfish but he is not a clown he looks dope <laughs> this a nemo just getting caught up into the wave oh i should just draw dory because why not well, it might mess up the color scheme. Eh, maybe I'll do it anyways, though. <laughs> Just quick switch in, switch in mind. Okay, let's see how he looks from far away now. Oh, no, that looks so bad, bro. I thought I was doing good. <laughs> that looks like nothing. <laughs> nah, oh my God. See, <sighs> am I going to have to draw a line art? No, we're going to get this right. I'm going to get this right no matter what. Look, he looks good now. Not really, but yikes, yikes. Yikes is all I gotta say. Okay, that almost works. There's something almost... Hmm, okay. Let me actually just study the fish before I actually just try to randomly draw it. Okay, so this part, it goes... Let's just say it goes straight. This part, though, curves and goes down very far. This one curves slightly. And I think that literally is all I need to look at, really. So... As we can see here, I did pretty well with the straightness. The tail needs to be risen, and this whole part just needs to be risen a lot. And now, hopefully, we will have a good looking Nemo. Please? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> I think I just combined saying aw and ooh together. Anyways, let's make the mouth. And that has to read as a Nemo instantly, right? That that works that work it just needs more detail and it needs to go with the flow it needs to be more curved oh no how am i gonna do this he he don't have enough uh jester okay i i broke his bones a little bit um he might be good now uh <laughs> <laughs> he looks dead now kinda kinda looks dead hey better than him being stiff though no nah, bro he actually looks dead though nah uh, yeah why does it look like his head is turning the other direction it looks like it's like i don't even know how to get i don't know how to describe it it looks the, the perspective is weird that's all i'm gonna say I, I don't know how else to describe it but yeah he just looked dead yeah i think the perspective needs to be going this direction like i was just copying the reference but yeah bro i totally should have drawn a sketch or the line art first at the least <laughs> <laughs> oh no i just got a horrible idea i'm just gonna leave him here <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Guys, look at the ground, bro. <laughs> it's Nemo's whole family. How'd they get there? <laughs> 
Wow. Um, I, I, I don't know whether I should, <laughs> I should leave them or not. <laughs> At first I was trolling, but I feel like it'd be, nah, that's, <laughs> that's too sad. <laughs> You know what, though? When you see one of them, it, actually, he doesn't even look bad. He doesn't look bad. He, I mean, he looks bad. <laughs> he does look bad. But what I noticed is when I had a whole bunch of them all together, they don't look bad at all. Like, you don't really focus in on how weirdly it's drawn when there's a whole bunch. But yeah, we're just going to have a full, full school of them. Of Nemo's. Yeah, we can have a skinny one, you know. Look, we can, it's so easy to just spam these. Like, look at this. Boom. Skinny, skinny, skinny Nemo. Then we can make them smaller, right? And then make this one fat. Okay, okay. This one can be ultra skinny. Actually, that's probably too much. Yeah, that's too much. Uh, let's actually get the normal one. Actually, they don't even look like fish anymore. Wait, wait, how, wait, why that happened? They don't look like fish. I know why. They're too, like, parallel. Looks more so... <laughs> It looks a little more, it looks like a foot footprint. Okay, I I I, I don't want to draw a fish anymore, man. I don't want to draw. All right, let, let's put the fish away for now. I'm not vibing with them no more. Is that because I can't draw him? Maybe, but we're gonna ignore that. Let's look at this. I got a I got a I got a decent idea here. So 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 maybe we can make this dark, nice and dark over here. Eh, no, nah, that kind of kills the vibe. You can never go wrong with adding some splatter, you know? Never can go wrong with it, I swear. Here is it without the splatter, and then you just add some more, and you know, it's just a little sun, a little sun, sun, and then you make the little splatter a little bit brighter, and you get a little bit more of this, you know, variety, I guess you can call it. I think I chose a bright as color. It needs to be like more over here. Oh, this blue can be over here. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. It needs to be like in the little dark cracks. Okay. Oh, there needs to be pink ones for sure. I need to be extra careful with it though. I put it on a different layer. Bro, May J just be enjoying life. Damn, bro. She just chilling in the middle of an ocean. <laughs> At least that's what I like to think. I just like to think this is in the middle of the freaking Arctic Ocean and she just vibing, man. Um okay you know we actually did fix this area right here this area i mean it could use some little bit something maybe but it's low-key fixed and let me actually do the same thing for this so what what i did here is i added some uh bounce light to the water i added some splatter you know something i've already said so many times the word splatter as you guys can assume i just absolutely love it really do um yeah the, the move is definitely though some bounce light yeah look at that already like i think i put it in the wrong spots but like somewhere if i put it somewhere correctly we fine damn bro this area right here this brown area the sand what do i put there her shadow perhaps 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 hmm? let's see how this is gonna work um so i just took her sh took her uh wait okay so i made a copy of her made it black oh my god shadow boom does that does that um fix my problem let's see i mean almost i like the shadow to be bigger the shadow was definitely a good touch let's give let's give the shadow some movement like some hatching that might have not been the move i think it looks better without hatching i think uh, i don't even know man i think mm, uh I think it looks better without hatching because it just has less detail, brings less attention to it. I don't want to bring too much attention to this area. It's almost good though. This area is almost good. Uh, it just has too much attention to it as of now. And I don't think that can be fixed by making it brighter, but that is my next idea. So let's see how it works. Nah, definitely not. It, it kind of, kind of fights oh wait i just made it darker and it's kind of a lot better let's see how dark it should me be maybe i mean making it darker was definitely the move it, it might actually be finished because i made it darker i just made it even darker right now 
look i have multiple tones so this is darkest and then there's this one this and then i believe this is what it was yep that's what it was this is what we started out with and then this is what it is now and as you can see it's like it doesn't like fight for your attention it basically i want your eyes to be over here rather than over here um and yeah this this is uh this stand area is almost good it does need like just something a starfish bro i've raced that starfish like three times now but now he'll be staying hopefully <laughs> wait 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 let me see how nemo looks now let me see let, let's see here where is he at <laughs> what if i just had just like one fish here dude should i put him on the ground <laughs> i mean he doesn't belong here no more unless he's extra big nah dude he doesn't belong here <laughs> okay let, let's 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 test this out uh he might have to stay man he might have to stay. bro i feel so bad because he's a nemo bro he he has to be a different fish like it, i don't i don't know like this to me it just makes me feel bad <laughs> <laughs> if it was any other fish i want to feel bad but there we go okay he's some <laughs> some random blue fish see like if it was nemo it just looks bad i don't know i don't know if you guys think that too but but if it's like a random fish it's like yeah who cares it's just some dumb fish <laughs> okay we get it somewhere i think i will end up um you know shading shading Mayjay a bit more because this piece just looks sick and i i i think it deserves a lot more shading see this is the thing with shading is like i never know when to stop because you could really just like I, I don't i don't know with shading there is no real stop point i feel like there is but there kind of isn't starfish was not a bad idea Oh, this whole time I never even saved. Um, let's call it May J. And let's actually just call it 100 feet deep. There we go. Or 1,000 feet deep. And I like 100 better. 100 feet deep. Nah, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Sounds cooler. Sounds cooler. Sounds cooler. Okay. Last thing. What the heck? All right, let's see. Um, I don't even remember what I said. I just had to look at something real quick. Um, oh the starfish they need some shading because them being so blank like that really does stand out oh damn i've been shading for an hour and 40. it honestly felt like it, it didn't feel like an hour and 40 at all man this is looking sick i already know what i'm gonna add in the last some saturation that's all it needs i think i'm just gonna go like and do that again no one's gonna be looking in this deep it also looks you don't need to go crazy for like this stuff this needs to look cool now when we zoom out you will see <laughs> you can actually kind of see it <laughs> you can actually kind of see how bad it looks wait hold on hold on <laughs> i don't know why wait wait normally normally you can it got wait actually no it looks fine it looks fine it's because it's i was staring at it. it it does need to be a little bit near but i think it's i think it's fine <laughs> like w when i open it tomorrow I'm not gonna be like looking at the starfish. Okay, I keep thinking of things to add. Isn't there like, you know, you know how waves, like when they start, they're like kind of like blue here. I mean, white there. Uh, and let's leave that out. Uh, yeah, let's leave it out. Um, what did I say I was gonna add? Saturation, that's what I add. So it was like some saturation by the blue is the move. Um maybe some pink you know maybe this drawing could be way brighter like near here nah find the way it is hmm i hope i drew this pink on a different layer okay thank you ask me all right i think i do need to like cut this part off um i think it's actually the move i would have liked it to be you know very I do want to like keep it expanded. However, I don't know how I would like. So basically there's two focal points for this drawing or maybe three. There's this, there's her, of course. And then there's like this area, but like, I don't know if it's fine if I leave it because again, like I said earlier, if I close it up, it kind of ruins the, it kind of shrinks the environment. However, I don't think the environment is actually the focus here. Even though it looks cool, the focus is still Mayjay. Cause like, if say, say I leave your eyes over here, 
I want your eyes to lead here to and you know I keep the environment expanded I don't know what I would even put here and if I were to put something here anyways it would close up the environment you know so I think shrinking it is definitely the move because either way whatever I put there is gonna like shrink the environment unless I add fish <laughs> I really don't feel like drawing fish let's try it. let's try it. it doesn't hurt to try it out let's just draw a sketch okay so we got our torpedo looking fish here and now let me zoom out and actually think about this yeah it would look better it's actually a good idea ah damn it i really don't want to draw any fish <gasps> oh what is this uh, what <laughs> Why is he just staring menacingly, menacingly into the camera? He's just standing there menacingly. Okay, fish. I want a longer fish like this. Sardines. I don't know if they're actually sardines, but they look like that. An oily fish. You know, I think there's actually one thing that I can't really fix that this piece is missing. And it's that um, there's like no foreshortening. I feel like foreshortening is probably one of the most important things to make something like feel even more alive i mean i maybe i could let's see here let's go back to this <laughs> just see this over here <laughs> all right um let's go back to this and i mean technically we could this is actually a great drawing for me to just increase the foreshortening very easily i could be i could end up eating those words though see like look at that it's already foreshortened and it feels a lot more uh lively we could even go crazier right you know you can always go super crazy with foreshortening <laughs> well i wouldn't say always because it kind of looks weird here well no it doesn't it just looks like a weird lens like a cool lens where uh i think they call it fish eye or there's actually a step above fish eye i don't know what it's called there's like there's like four wait what is it I don't even know what it's called and normally wait what there's three what's the third three oh there's three point there's five point which is fish eye and then there's six point this looks like six point kind of but you see like i mean i don't know i could make the foreshortening crazy this does work and yeah by the way guys foreshortening is the easiest thing you can ever do man like it's the easiest thing to make a drawing just super cool without any work at all like all i did was just increase it it, it does depend which drawing you are like what is your drawing though um like even for this leg right here it's gonna look broken probably because of the, the pose but say you just make like the leg just <laughs> super big like this actually kind of works the anatomy is broken because i didn't really plan for this but as you see it kind of works and then maybe you can make this super small okay it looks kind of weird but i think you get what i'm trying to say it's just pretty easy to add foreshortening i'm actually gonna leave this like this <laughs> all right now the question is are we gonna do it for this piece though it is the question and you know also another thing that makes this even better is like if there's a frame like if there's a frame around it it makes it look even more like it sh like she's in your face even more if there's a frame um and yeah so for this piece there's a frame around it and let's actually just try it out right let's let's try it out because why not we can do the fish later or next um hopefully all right i think we can try it yeah i was just making sure that all the layers were good now i'm gonna have to do some fixing if we actually do this but maybe it's worth it i don't know if the camera would be here though for this particular piece like I only say that because the water is like the water isn't like in your face, but who knows it might work. Let's see. Okay, that that actually makes it a lot better. <laughs> I think I think right. Does it? I think so. The anatomy is a little off. I think I like it better with the anatomy off though. And uh, I, uh, I don't know. We can make it even bigger. Yes, we can. You can always make it bigger. Always. <laughs> What am I? Why am I even coughing, bro? Ugh, I'm glad I got some water. All right. Is this the move? Is this the move? Do I leave it like this? Yes. No. 
Um, I wonder if I'm gonna like it now and then hate it later. There is no going back. Okay, maybe this isn't the move. Actually, let me just make sure the anatomy is correct. All right, so I've been playing with it for like a good two minutes, and I think I'm going to leave it for sure end or make it for sure end. I think it is the move. The anatomy is going to be a little bit broken, but it should be fine. I can't tell if I'm going to not like this later. <laughs> Let me look at this again. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is such a hard choice, man. I'm going to leave it. Freak it. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm done with this. I think I like it. If not, oh, well, well, <laughs> um, I think, I, uh, well, Again, I do want it to be May J in the environment. I don't want May J to over, over, you know, whatever the environment. That's the only reason why I'm keeping it back. I'm keeping it like this. I'm keeping it like this for sure. And you know what? This piece, I think it's actually finished. I don't think it actually needs this fish because, you know, if as long as your eyes like go like this, it does somewhat lead to an environment. I changed my opinion. I think earlier I said something like this being an open space doesn't add anything, but I actually do think it adds something. I do think it opens up the environment a lot. And let me see if I can, you know, spice this up some more then. Like just actual like this saturation stuff. That's it. Um, Like for example, something that's always, always so easy to add is some Adidas, some Terminator it is always really easy to add it okay that looks nice and then i do think well, let's add some sore eyes as well and then something i can do is add some white to our eyelashes so we can actually see them let's make this actually red okay wait it being red looks really weird for whatever reason i guess i'm just gonna leave it white well now that i know it's white it stands out it has to be a darker red for sure i gotta erase the white parts or else it's gonna be a little strained when we zoom out i feel like it's gonna yeah it's just gonna be weird okay not so bad that white see like you didn't see the white it, it actually does kind of mess with the hair i'm just gonna paint bucket it and do it as quick as possible no reason for the white there literally zero <clears throat> okay not bad Medias, whatever the freak this is i saw someone do it okay that might be a little bit too much okay i took a little bit away and it's good now oh i think we're actually missing another shadow color so like maybe it could be blue like there's no actual shadow shadow there's only bounce light hopefully nobody notices the hands <laughs> they won't notice will they i don't think so hopefully not if they do though i don't know all right i think this is actually done a like actually this time i i don't know if there's anything else i can add is there like saturation maybe let's crank that joint up mm -hmm. it's already so saturated i love how i cranked it all the way up and literally nothing changed kind of i do kind of like like the I do like it a bit more saturated, not gonna lie. What can I say? I like me some saturated colors, man. I think that goes really well. It, it removes this like gray and then makes it super blue and brightens everything up so much. It makes it glow. Oh, you know, that's how, that's probably how this drawing like looks so glowy. It's because this red here is like max saturation. Wait a second, so I might to be onto something. We make it a bit brighter we can make it uh, wait let's see here if we take this and like add some red i mean some blue here uh, that kind of washes something out it washes it out kind of okay i'm adding some max saturation and it definitely does like add something to it okay i am done with this i'm leaving it as is i'm not touching it at all and yeah actually i think this might be a good point to end the video off i ended up shading for a lot longer than i thought and i'll probably just like maybe shade mika another video or something we shall see but yeah look at that we got this painting we got this i also have another painting i finished at another video we have some cool as art that's being made for one of the videos for my main channel and just cool arson sisters art in general one thing i should do is remove this but yeah i think 
no what am i saying no 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 we're done we're done we're done we're done this is the last doing this is the last thing i'm doing no this is it this is it <laughs> i'm not gonna get started we're done here if i get started i'm gonna be here for another 30 minutes oh no i just thought about something i can do no we're, e we're ending the video right here <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching hope you guys really enjoyed i really enjoyed this piece enjoyed making it and yeah have a good rest of your day and bye bye peace